Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today we are checking out the Remarkable 2 platform or the Remarkable platform because they have a new update, an update 2.15 where with some uh, upgrades and some improvements to already existing functionalities. All right, so here we are with the release 2.15. This is more like a maintenance uh, kind of a release, which I think is a good thing from time to time to have things kind of added to the platform, make sure that that things that are present are you know up to snuff so there are three key things that have been improved in the release 2.15 first one is the improved synchronization and it mainly has to do with if your device and the documents and changes that you've made offline so not synchronized with the cloud now they are promising that after a long period of offline work any new changes will be reflected in our apps quicker you'll have noticed the difference when annotating larger pdf documents too this optimized so software has also increased the stability and smoothness of our cloud storage which is is a thing that I can't directly test because I don't have previous data so I'll just trust them at their word. The second thing is smarter screen sharing so now we have uh, the ability to actually have the app and the device on different Wi-Fi networks and the app and the cloud actually to synchronize over that. So we're gonna test that out and see if it's uh, as fast as it was before. And finally, the uh, mobile and the desktop apps have been refreshed. So I don't know exactly what they are talking about here because the Android mobile app is still on 2.14 and there's no way for me to actually update it. I, I check out the updates and the latest version is 2.14. The desktop app did not want to upload on its own, so I had to actually go to my.remarkable.com and then download it, uninstall the previous one, and install the new one, and then I could have the new version of the app. So those are the new things in general, and realistically the only thing that we can kind of test out, I mean the, the new refreshes here are really small, like zooming and scrolling is a little Little bit faster and things like that which is nice but the only real new uh, uh, update here is the smarter screen sharing so let's check that out okay here we are so my remarkable is now hooked up to the hotspot on my phone and that's how it's getting its internet and my computer is hooked up to my home Wi-Fi. So they are on two different, entirely different Wi-Fi networks. And the whole point is here to kind of uh, test out the sharing functionality. So let's do, let's do screen share. All right, so screen share, connect to app. And maybe again, tap and let's see if the app, yes, accept. And here we go. So now we have screen share and everything is in real time. So let's see how reactive is it. Okay, it's uh, definitely a bit slower because it's going through the whole thing. But let's just, yeah, just uh, get some inkling of how this works. Okay, so it is fairly fast. It's very, very fast. Um, so, and definitely it seems to be working. Now let's see how does it update on the actual notes themselves. So let's see, does it update the zooming thing? Yeah, it does, that's really good. So let's do this. Okay, this is too thick, so. Okay, that's working. Let's get this into a thinner option. This is my test line while using the uh, improved screen share via two different it's really really fast and the cool thing is that it's not waiting at all for the stroke to be finished 
unlike other devices or how it previously worked as you can see this is extremely good so yeah um yeah even over different networks the service works great absolutely great now the thing that i do not like is that um the updating is fantastic which is really really good um the the quality is the thing that i am reacting to and just basic anti-aliasing in the desktop app is something that we would would be really great to have because it really depends and it works depending on the zoom level but you know the minimum here is a little bit too rough i mean look at this optimization here look at this jagginess over here so when this is blown up over the uh, uh, uh wide screen then that becomes uh or a large screen or a projector these jaggies become really really bad and there's absolutely no reason to have that because any desktop machine is able to actually do anti-aliasing filtering post uh drawing all of these things so the tough stuff has already been done and it's working fantastically fast and it's really really good but yeah for whatever reason it's um the, the filtering is not really nice so basically if i zoom out you will see that the it, it gets way 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 more jaggy so that is uh that is a little bit off but as far as the wi-fi itself working it really is working well now um what i don't get is can we present this in a landscape format so let's go to landscape view but yeah so it can't do that's a platform limitation so yeah if you have a landscape template then you can present it like this and then you can present it there but what i what would have been nice is if we could uh have a, a, a landscape presentation of basically screen rotation so can i take my portrait document and have it actually rotate and fit to width so that is something that is now starting to become a limitation uh more pronounced limitation of the platform it would be nice to actually see that at some point but overall this new screen the the improved screen share uh over over two different Wi-Fi's is working really, really good, um, except for the anti-aliasing post -fil filtering on the desktop app, which would be a nicer thing, or at least a greater resolution of rendering between, uh, because this, I mean, he's just receiving uh, vertices here. So a greater resolution of uh, strokes in the desktop app would actually be a better thing, or just an anti-aliasing filter on top. Um, but other than that, yeah, the, 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 this new thing actually works well. So let's see if we can stop sharing. Yep, and everything seems to be working good. So, cool. So that's pretty much the update uh, here. Not really much to see or say here other than, you know, what's obviously there. Um, however, there's a couple of notes to just kind of mention at the very least, because this is the first update that Remarkable has released since their change of the Connect subscription um, everything. The, the, the pricing, the plan, the mentality behind it and everything. And while I understand that this is a maintenance type of an update, I think again we see like a lack of planning and a lack of strategy because to me at least it doesn't make business sense to make an announcement of this really big change for the Connect subscription, which was a good thing, right? So that was actually a good thing that they are returning back to sanity. Then we have the uh, news of the Amazon Scribe being launched, which is going to be a big, big competitor. 
And then the first update offers nothing new for the Connect subscribers. So here we are into the second half of October and people who are paying for the Connect subscription from October 1st, you're not actually really getting anything new for your money's worth other than the support plus or whatever they want to call it and the so-called unlimited storage. Um, don't get me wrong, um, at the current price I don't think that's uh, a big problem because the subscription is now cheap enough to actually warrant and be worth it just the, the added uh, protection plan and the unlimited storage. Uh, but I'm just, I don't know, it just feels to me that this is a bit of a lack in planning maybe maybe their strategy is to actually launch new features and have a good promo campaign later in the year you know before christmas and all that kind of stuff so maybe that's what they're trying to do maybe they want to time it along uh release of amazon scribe and they don't want to shoot all of their new uh, reserves you know all of the ammo that they have right now so maybe that's what's happening but that thing aside overall it is a welcome thing to see that you can now have a screen share in multiple wi-fi's how well it works with all the stuff that i've already mentioned while uh, while i was testing that but overall it works really good what is there is a welcome addition to the remarkable platform i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and if you like what i do and you would like to support the channel and my work more please visit the mydeepguy.com shop and check out the my daily organizer um my daily organizer 2023 version is out now which is your yearly quarterly monthly weekly daily organizer for all of your professional or personal organizing needs so check it out and see if that's something for you or not thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye